We're hearing from our seniors that they want to remain in their homes. They wish to live at home as long as possible and delay as much as possible a move into assisted living or a residential care facility. They want to remain in their familiar surroundings with their pets, belongings, their memories. Fraser Health is redesigning its home health services in recognition of the fact that the population is aging and that our hospitals, both wards and emergency departments, are very congested. We also know that our senior patients take longer to recover following a stay in the hospital and that we need to support them after discharge so that they can continue to recover in their own homes. And that is the basis of our home is best philosophy. Being in hospital is difficult for anyone, but it's particularly difficult for our seniors. We know that with bed rest, they lose muscle strength at a rate of 5% per day. With changes in their blood oxygen levels, they can become easily confused. And with just the unfamiliar surroundings, they can become unsteady on their feet and be at risk for falls. So returning home as soon as the medical condition is stable with proper home supports and community services gives our seniors the best chance to regain their strength and to return to a life of independence in the community. My name is Alan Duggan and I'm 81 years old and I'm living at home because I prefer to living in a residential area. My family is here. I feel that I'm happier with them around me and uh, I don't feel bad at all in any way with living at home. Unfortunately, he had a, a stroke which wasn't a normal stroke. It was a, a brain hemorrhage on the 15th of August of the year 2000. He was in hospital for three months and at that time, they wanted him to ha go to a nursing home. And I said, no, he had to come home with me. And uh, I'm sure that if he hadn't come home with me, he would have died because he would have just given up. When we discharge our senior patients and they're not completely independent, and we know they need some supports, we don't rely just on family to provide that care. Home Health can provide home supports using our community health workers to provide assistance with things like grooming, personal care, bathing, and managing medications. They can also help connect seniors back into the community with their friends or family members and other community resources. That's good. Let's bend this knee up. Following surgery or prolonged hospitalization, we can provide short-term physiotherapy at home as well as occupational therapy assessments to ensure safety in the home. We can also provide nursing support, either in the home or in one of our community clinics. The help I've had from occupational and physiotherapy is that they've made sure Alan has everything that he's needed to be able to stay at home. For example, he has a medical bed, He's got a, a pole in his uh, bedroom to help him get in and out of bed. He's got a special bench in the bathroom for him to sit on when he has his shower. Over the next several months following discharge from hospital, the case manager will continue to assess the situation at home to make sure that home supports are adequate and the patient is still living safely in the home. Okay, yeah, you want to sit up a little bit more? If at any time it appears that more services are required or that possibly admission to a residential facility is necessary, then the case manager will do that assessment in the home. We know that our senior patients want to get home as soon as possible. They want to get back into their own surroundings. They don't like being in an unfamiliar institution. There are times, though, that families are feeling a bit insecure about having their loved ones discharged back home. That's when we can sit down with the families and go through the services that we can provide directly from home health, as well as the community services that are available. And Marion was 71. Wow. Day programs for older adults is another wonderful service that's provided through home health. It's a program where our seniors, who are often very isolated living in their own homes in the community, can attend one to two days per week. 
Each day is about five to seven hours long. It's a therapeutic environment with programs that stimulate the mind and the body where seniors have the ability to participate in functional activities like cooking, baking, doing arts and crafts, and playing games. The health professionals that work in the day programs are nurses, LPNs, and recreational care aides and therapists. They can provide assistance with the programs that run at the centers, and they also can provide some health monitoring, such as blood pressure monitoring, or glucometer checks for our diabetic clients. A very important benefit of the day program is its ability to provide a day of respite, a day of rest for the family members who provide care for their loved ones. Knowing that their spouse or their elderly parent is in a caring, therapeutic environment for the day gives them a peace of mind, allowing them to have a day of rest in their home and attend to their personal needs. <laughs> we absolutely need to support the family members that take such an active role in caring for their loved ones. In many situations without them, it's really difficult to support independent living, keeping our seniors in the home. So with home health, we do provide respite, recognizing that family members need regular breaks in order to carry on doing what they're doing. I think that a respite is extremely necessary so that you don't get overtired and uh, uh, keep up your spirit as well. We want to respect the wishes of our seniors who tell us that they want to live at home as long as possible. And we are working to improve our services and to add more services to help our clients with their function. I think it's wonderful to be able to have a person who needs to be looked after to be at home where he's uh, among the things that he knows, uh, where he can uh, get up and go to bed when he wants to, to watch television, listen to music, or whatever it is, because uh, he's far more comfort comfortable at home than he would be in the nursing home. We're here in the community to support our seniors and their families to help them continue to age in their homes.